Hello there, ladies and gents, boys and girls. This is a one versus one between two uber level players. That son of a broom, who is uh, PA Guides on uh, on the Discord, on PA Discord. He does coaching and stuff. And then we've got Marichal Grizzly representing La France in his beautiful yellow weird commander. Ender Strike. <laughs> Soixante Onze commander. Just had to think about that for a second. Not being native to La France, I can't think of all their weird numbering systems. But yes, that's what he's doing. He's going vehicles first with his yellow comp and boosting out vehicle faber. Following that up with the eco. Let's pop a little dude on there. Right, moving over though, we've got that son of a boom in his gunmetal grey. He has not assisted out a fabricator. Instead going straight for the mechs, the power, and then into an air factory with his lovely Osiris commander. So I reckon the reason that Grizzly assisted out that extra one is because he plans on going... Wait for it, hold on. Wait for it. The suspense is probably killing you. What? <laughs> Into orbital. It's an orbital 1v1. We've got two other maps while they're... Uh, two other planets, rather, while they're doing that. Grizzly getting loads of fabs because he wants to get all this eco very early and doesn't imagine getting raided too easily by Broom and wants to get that up quickly. But other planets in the drop-down. Over here, we've got... Exfil, which is a snowy planet. A snowy recluse, if you will. With more metal than your starting planet. And then, slightly closer in, we've got Muster. Slightly less metal, but much smaller radius. Going to be easier to lock down if you go for it. And then on the main planet, you've got this little bit of a, a divide between the bases where you've got your initial expansion is to these sort of triple mechs over here. But, there's a wall there, and it's accessible from this side. Grenadiers, sneaky pelters, artillery, or whatever, can fire over that and raid from the other side. So you've got to come down here and contest this area. But there's no metal to contest, so it's all about the sneaky plays. But it also acts as a bit of a, of a buffer zone, if you will, between the bases. Meanwhile, the main fighting on this map should probably be around this side. And the uh, the expansion routes are pretty natural. Ooh, look at that. Both players going for an orbital factory here. What's that? Broom having it as his fourth. Grizzly also as his fourth in the main, although he does have an expansion down here with three of those fabs that came out very, very quickly indeed. Note that uh, the orbital launcher now costs the same as a T1 factory, so it's much, much more affordable. Uh, yeah. It's an option now. And don't forget that the orbital fabricators make, uh, or can make rather, metal extractors from orbit. But yes, as I was saying before I got distracted by that, your uh, expansion is pretty natural. You go to the three, then you go to the four, and then you can test these guys in the middle. And at some point during that time, you can go to these three safe guys down here. But on the other approach, there's no mechs. And it's kind of like a bit of a skewed symmetry here, so Marshall Grizzly expands south and across and up with uh, the blank space there. So most of the action is very, very easy to see where it's going to be. You're going to have contact points oops, around this sort of area, potentially a few around the back and a few around here where people are trying to be sneaky. But that means that because you have so few places to put your attention on the main planet. It gives you the opportunity, and there he goes. Broom is up and away into orbital. So let's have a look at here. I'm going to use my camera anchor pin right about there, and I'm going to keep keep the camera keep keep the cameras as they are. I think for now. Broom's coming over here. We'll uh, we'll come back to that in a moment because I see Boombox moving. I see Boombots moving. Grizzly has discovered he can go on the sort of blue zone here. As has Broom. Look at this. 
Where there's tanks and grenadiers in there, crucially. The grenadiers. If you want an easier view of the pathing, by the way, I'll show you just after these guys have done a little bit of raiding here. In fact, I'll do it now. You can use the debug view. Hotkey varies depending on um, depending on your settings. You can set them as whatever you want. I've set mine Control Alt Open Square Bracket, but it's up to you. And the red is pathing mesh, so you can kind of see where the pathing is able and where it's not. But here we go. Where it is broom. You need to get your grenadiers a little closer, my friend. They don't quite reach. We got to get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. If I say that any more time, I'll uh, push people away from me rather than bringing them closer to me. Broom! Watch your grenadiers, mate. While he's fiddling around with that, though, it's not a lot of fighting happening. There's a little bit over in the middle here where Grizzly's starting to push out. Looks like Grizzly, for the most part, is perhaps going, and going T2 as well, is going to be focusing on this main planet here, this main metal planet. It doesn't look like he's putting too much emphasis on, uh, on getting off world at this stage in proceedings. Meanwhile, Broom, though, is over on Xville with his comm, safe and sound. Had an orbital fabber doing some uh, some building, but it got picked off by uh, by Grizzly's Avengers. There, this looks like an attempted Grizzly. I think that was an attempted uh, Grizzly um, teleporter there that Broom must have taken out. There's no reason why Broom would build two tele uh, thingies there. We did see that Grizzly sent off an orbital fab, which no longer seems to exist. So Broom must have killed it off, preventing Grizzly from getting onto this planet and expanding early on in this game, which is really what you want to be doing in orbital games, just denying your opponent these sorts of expansions. And I'll put that as Camarinka too. Meanwhile, over on Muster, both players are over on this one. Over on the lava planet, both are here, and Broom has finally, if we look in that picture in picture, managed to raid those from the other side of the wall. Coming now down the bottom of Grizzly's fort, round to the top, and potentially pushing up into there to see what happens when they get there. Grizzly though also raiding over here. Have a look at this. Sneaky sneaky. Didn't take much to do that and this area is so wide that responding to this even if you've got units already in here is going to take a while to respond to that. But look at this, Broom trying to defend on his fronts here, he's put up a pelter to try and lock things down. Grizzly though definitely locking down this middle six mechs, he wants all the mechs on this planet that he can possibly get, possibly, possibly get. I think he might be surprised by this though, I think he might be very surprised by this. Keep an eye on uh, how things progress over here now, though. Aha, he is aware of it. Look, wall's going up. He is aware of this nastiness, but this is the thing. They don't have to go into the base. And in fact, against a commander, I mean, there's there's a lot of units there and a lot of grenadiers, but they don't have to go into the base. And the um, Broom doesn't know exactly what's in the base, so he might think, actually, you know, I don't have enough units to take on that choke point right now. I'm going to swing down and potentially even threaten these three mechs over here. Looks like potentially that's what he's going for. He's got a spinner in there that'll take off a couple of those bombers, but not before. Not before they do a lot of damage to those grenadiers, so now he definitely can't take on the base. He just doesn't have the range for it. Grizzly, though, pushing out the middle again, punishing Broom for focusing off-world. Broom's commander now onto the lava planet over there. You can see in the picture of picture. Grizzly also expanding over there with a few uh, orbital fabricators to try and grab the mechs. But Broom doesn't want him over here. So he's, he's killing off that teleporter, slowly but surely. Here we go, Grizzly. Still trying to punish Broom here. Underestimates the amount of defense that Broom's put over there. Grizzly, though, 
with his orbital. He's trying. He's trying. Meanwhile, Broom, though, look at that. He's just swung by and taken out these uh, these three mechs. So Grizzly's going to have to re-expand to this. But look at this. Even though Broom has got onto the other worlds right now, Grizzly's eco is actually doing better. And that's because of this emphasis that Grizzly has put on the main planet. But he's had to fight for it. It hasn't been an easy an easy picking. Because metal is so scarce and so clustered, it's very easy to defend. So you've really got to focus on it. So getting off world to places like Muster and Exfil, the, uh, the lava and ice planet respectively, is going to be really rewarding because of all the metal that it, uh, that it can provide. Like look at the ice planet here. Broom, air fabricators going all over the place. That's going to catch him up on Eco very, very quickly, especially considering how much Eco there is on Exfil. It's not necessarily super duper clustered, but it's close enough that it's uh, a very quick expansion. Back to the main planet, though, because that's where all the action is taking place. Broom doesn't like the fact that Grizzly, look at this, he's trying to put up a little proxy, except uh, I think he forgot his factory. Going for metal storage there. Mm, I don't know, it's not going to protect these fabbers. That is for sure. Uh, there we go, Grizzly responding. Turrets, 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 panic, turrets. Keep those fabbers alive and the turrets get up. And it looks like that was so strange. Broom focused the infrastructure rather than the defensive units. All of those grenadiers died to basically a turret and a gren rather than anything more. Very peculiar. What? How did that get there? I don't want to know, but however that got there, it must have been dropped. It must have. That must have been dropped. There's no way it could get past all of this stuff down here. <laughs> Grizzly, with all of the strange plays, he always comes in with something new, something to surprise us. Look, here we go again. Look at this. A couple of pelicans with vanguards this time. Are they going to get shot down? Don't be too greedy. Get them down. And a vanguard and a leveler in Broom's base. Broom though struggling for power. You can see the teleporter flickering on and off. But that vanguard is in the power line. Can it take it out? That's nasty. That's going to prevent Broom from doing things. But Broom is on the other planets and he can just build more power lines elsewhere. And that's what he is doing there in the picture, picture of Muster. You can see a power line going up. And also one on Exfil there, the ice planet. And Broom with his superior army size here is taking the fight to Grizzly but is forgetting about his home turf here. Grizzly has a few units attacking it. Might not necessarily be able to kill it all off, but still. Keeping Broom at bay. Takes out the metal, takes out the infrastructure, takes out the factories, gradually knocking Broom off this planet. And that's what he wants to be doing. Broom though, trying to fight off the mid though. Should be possible. I mean, there is a leveler there. It should go down. Or the, uh, the level just doesn't have the rate of fire required for these things. What's going on on the other planets there? Doesn't look like Grizzly's doing much. He's doing a little bit of recon there with the Hermes. Just having a look at what Broom is doing. Anything happening down here though? Look at this. Broom or rather Grizzly, trying to get in again. Broom trying to prevent it. Does so. Grizzly decides, I'm out of there. He's seen enough. He's seen where the commander is. Presumably. But he doesn't want to hang him out. Away they go! Back to wherever. <laughs> camera can stay on there actually because we're looking for this one look at this he's got units ready to go through a telly as and when Grizzly just gradually whittling down broom on the main planet but look at the economies now broom there floating like crazy 412 metal to 168 from Grizzly. So Grizzly really, really needs to step it up in the orbital space here. 
and he's, he's, he's just not quite doing it. Looks like he's going to try and make something happen over on Xville. And if he can, that could be what he needs, because that's where the majority of Broom's Eco is right now. If we look around that picture in picture, he's got all of the metal sites on this planet now. Every single one. And that's those air fans just set and forget. Ooh, Grizzly here. Grizzly's here. The teleporter's coming. This could be very, very big for Grizzly. And there's a power line there just waiting. And the units are going through from Grizzly's base. And the power line is just waiting to be chewed up by this army here. Is hungry for electricity. Down it goes. There's not a lot the Broom can do about this. He does not have any army over here. I, did, did Broom forget to, uh, you know, defend? I think he is. He's, he's, he's left his big resource planet without any defences. What is going on? I mean, all the way on the other side of the planet here, we've got a load of bot factories coming up. That's got a long traversal time. All of this base is going to be gone before these guys even hope to start getting reinforcements through. The teleporter's up here. Is anything ready to come through it? I don't think it is, by the looks of things. Oh, we got something. From original world, we've got a sea of grenadiers. My word! A swarm of grenadiers, but denied. The, the, the teleporter goes down. More teleporters need to be created. The T2 air factory as well was mostly complete. If that had gone up, though, that would have been big. And here we go. Grizzly following things up with uh, a lovely proxy base here. Factories first. Radar and anti-air. Crucial foothold methodology there. Crucial foothold tradecraft. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's booms against a majority tank army. That's booms. That's hard cat. <laughs> Just streaming a clock. Look at this. Grizzly can't deal with this. But he's got a few docks coming out to do... <laughs> Unbelievable! The more booms that get closer, the more damage gets whittled away. Docks, we need you. Grizzly, move your docks to the booms! Look at this, they're coming in! What is going on in this game? And the T2 air is complete now. Broom, focus that down. He didn't want to waste any time there. Looks like nothing from Grizzly in sp Ooh, never mind, spoke too soon. Another little scouty radar going off to Mustard, see what he can see. Let's have a look at what Grizzly can actually see here. So, he sees an empty base, he sees... Well, he, he knows that units keep streaming in from this sort of a direction. And he knows that, well, there's a load of expansion on this planet, he can just about see it. And so he can guess that there's loads else or the other metal sites. But the fact that there's so little resistance on this planet, Grizzly can probably assume that there's little else, but he does see the T2 air now. So he should respond with uh, maybe a vehicle factory and spinners. Instead, he sees he's not. What can he see over on Muster? He sees a commander. That's crucial. And he sees a big old orbital place. He sees loads and loads of pigeons. He sees a T2 air factory. More air factories and bot factories and the teleporter as well. So he knows that getting onto this planet is going to be a bit of a hard fight. Let's have a look back on the main planet. Though, we've got units ready to come through a teleporter, ready to assist. And Broom is almost fought off entirely from this main planet. And that will give Grizzly the breathing room he needs to really focus into the orbital game. And that will be bad for Broom. Especially because, uh, look at those economies. Broom's been, uh, Broom's been knocked down a peg. About 40 mechs. And that will gradually increase. Here we go. Looks like a foothold is going to try and be made over on Muster. Let's have a look back on ice for the moment. <laughs> World patrolling grenadiers. Broom. Really? Really, Broom? Really? 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 And Grizzly over here, though. He's got a bit of a, a, a thing to do. So, here we go. World patrolling Avengers like this is a bit of a double-edged sword. Yes, it 
is likely to stop one or two things from slipping through. But the moment you've got a big force like this, they've all got to be manually converged on that point. And you see how slow they all came across to deal with that? If that was, you know, if they were all there and ready, this might not have gone up. It's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but, you know, it'll get, it'll get Dreadnought worried, uh, Dreadnought, uh, Broom worried. There's a few levelers there, you know, that could not be very nice for, uh, for all of this. So, yeah, when you're defending your planets, it's better to have groups, large groups of Avengers, or defensive orbital units, or whatever, and maybe a few on World Patrol like this, but don't have them all on it. Because if, imagine if all of those units that had come into the orbital layer were combat units, like Avengers or something like that. As, the, as they sort of encircle, but they approach in fewer numbers, then the uh, the incurring uh, incurring incurring the uh, the aggressing player will uh, will take better trades. And that's not what you want. You don't want that. You want as good a trade as possible. Back on ice though, Grizzly sending more units to reinforce this. He wants to knock Broom down another peg, and the Ecos now have turned tables. Grizzly is flying all over the place, probably because he's uh, reclaiming stuff. Where's his uh, combat fabs for this reclaim? He's got to be doing it somewhere. Ah, yeah, look. He's building over in... Uh... <laughs> in Broom's base. And as he builds, he reclaims. And that'll be where the flicking comes from. So Grizzly now has control of all of the main planet here. All of it. And over to Exfil now. T2Air is a thing. Grizzly's foothold is a thing. It's a little flimsy. It's got a lot of AA though. T2Air can't really stick around for very long. But these Hornets will be good from a range. They can take out the factories, the, uh, the teleporter and the fabricators from range. Bruno retreating. Instead of using all of these units on World Patrol, please just bring them in. Broom needs to needs to do something here to bring all of these guys in. Pull it in, fellas. Pull it together. And maybe, just maybe, something will happen. What are the strats, though? Let's have a look for strats, because so far all we've got is this sort of... Eh, I mean, it's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. I, I, it's not really a stalemate, but neither player is really doing anything, really. I mean, Grizzly's not expanding this. He's just sort of world patrolling. He's, he's just sort of passively attacking, which isn't, which isn't ideal. Really want to be doing something active. I mean, this here is active. This is Broom actively kicking Grizzly off, saying, no, I do not want you here. Be gone. You are not a friend of mine. You have not got a friend of me. These grenadiers are going to say no. Not today. Would be better if they're booms. But grenadiers will work for now. Let's have a look over on Muster though. Is Broom doing anything over there? There's T2 bots over here, but he's, it's, again, it's it's. Other than this attack, Broom is very passive, it seems. What's going on over here? Very, very passive. Loads of orbital launchers. Not trying to do any attacking. Just trying to get his eco up. He's he's struggling on metal and he's 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 trying to rectify that situation right now. That's his main focus. He's got loads of boom bots here to help uh, defend against any vehicle incursion. Fair enough. But again, nothing active that's going to threaten Grizzly. He's playing very defensively and very passively. What is Grizzly up to though? Grizzly's sending a, a radar to Muster. He's gonna have a look. Grizzly's got T2 Air ready on evac. It's all finished and ready. And he's using that T2 Air to send and scout. A lot of it as well, actually. Look at this. 
coming in from orbit. Aha. So Grizzly sees the command there. Let's, let's have a look at this because that's that's going to be crucial. I reckon... Aha. Look at this. The booms are ready and Grizzly in an interplanetary game is looking for a boombot snipe. He saw that this commander is very weak. He does not have defensive units around him. He does not have anything like that. There are boombots moving, so Broom is ready to do some invading. Look at this. Let's let's keep an eye on him. Ooh, I think do I see a teleporter maybe going up over here. Something's happening. Again, Grizzly, look at this. Checking. There's got to be a teleporter coming up somewhere, surely. Because Broom's just got it all ready and set up. But Grizzly here. Here we go. He checks. He sees. He sees the commander. Still over there. What's his next move? Send an orbital fabricator. Orbital fabricator, Grizzly. Orbital fabricator, Grizzly. Invasions don't happen without tellies. And you need a telly. Let's go back to my view. It's gonna be really I need to keep an eye on the Oh! Broom's got units through on a telly. Not on main planet, must be on Xfil. Aha, here we go, here we go, here we go. Booms are here. Booms are here, and we've got loads of docks in the area, in the vicinity, to take care of these booms. Of course, docks no longer have their anti air capabilities if you're joining us after a very long PA hiatus. You'll be surprised to hear the Doc's AA ability has been removed. Blue Hawks, beautiful against levelers. Gorgeous. Can't complain. Boombots, even better. And there's so little empty ground in this base now. These Boombots should, in theory, be able to deal with it, but... That's not the big thing that's happening right now. The booms are on the move. Grizzly is ready with his finger on the trigger. Look at those booms swarming that teleporter. We can monitor these guys in picture in picture, but they've taken things out and they could take out the rest of this. But we've got an orbital fabricator going to muster. Where, 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 where? <gasps> right next to the commander. Get that teleporter up. Get the teleporter up. It's up. It's up. The booms are through. The booms are through. They know roughly where the commander is. The units are swarming to try and defend, but the booms have found it in. And he's gone. Broom, too slow to react. Too passive for the majority of the game. Despite the eco lead. Despite the planetary colonization advantage. Grizzly managed to find an opening with sustained intel gathering. That was the key there. Patience and sustained intelligence. Sending maybe an orbital, uh, an orbital radar 10 minutes before that attack wouldn't be helpful. A maintained presence of intelligence a couple of minutes before showed him where the commander still was. There. Wherever it was. Ugh. There. Literally a minute and a half before. And then the moment that finished, you know, okay, the commander is staying put. I've got some orbital fabricators. I want some more. Although I've got 11 there, so he's got plenty. And on they go, straight away. Maintained intelligence. Orbital fabricator. Straight away. Fingers on the trigger. And based on what he saw previously, he saw that there's a big old gap over here and he thinks, okay, this is my best bet. Down there, I tried. He might be expecting it. Down there, I tried. He might be expecting it. Radar. Again. Sees this. And again, look at this. 
Look at that. All of those Avengers in the orbital space were not ready to deal with that. And notice what Broom also didn't have. Umbrellas around his base. He didn't have umbrellas around his base. Despite the fact that one has to get into the orbital layer above the planet to deal with things. And he didn't have anything around his commander. Orbital Games 101. Commander snipes are a thing. They are a Almost a go-to, especially when you have planetary control. The fact that he didn't have anything surrounding his commander, or at least marginally defending it, is uh, is just more proof that Ubers don't know how to orbit. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this game. It's another sneak peek and a map test of uh, a potential map in the next rank season. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Marshall. Don't forget to leave any likes down below and uh, share your thoughts in the comments try to keep them spoiler free ish if you can that would be great um, but yeah the interaction with the content really helps me out in the last few weeks I've seen uh, much more growth in the channel than I have in a long time so thank you guys very much and presumably for sharing with your friends as well it means a lot um, so yeah I'm going to stop rabbiting now have a good one folks I'm out of here